Qualifying for the season opener for the Cars Tour at Southern National Motorsports Park has concluded, and some big names will not be competing in the race. That includes Steven Nassi and Landon Huffman. Before we get into this, I'd like to ask you, please hit that subscribe button, hit that bell for notifications so you don't miss any of our future videos here at John Trent Racing. As you can see on your screen, the unofficial top 10 results are Chad McCombie, who put down a very quick lap of 15.318. Brent Cruz was in second. Connor Hall in third. Caden Honeycutt fourth. Uh, Trayton Lebsevich in fifth. Dick McCaskill in sixth, sixth, Carson Quaffle in seventh, Ryan Millington in eighth, Brennan Butterbean Queen in ninth, and Bobby McCarty in tenth. And as I was saying, Stephen Nassi and Landon Huffman will not be making the race. They are joined by Jonathan Finley and Cody Dempster. You can see on your screen right here, Finley posted a 15.807. That was good for 29th. Dempster was 15.813. That was good for 30th. Nassie with 15.827. That was good for 32nd. And Landon Huffman posted 16.33. Three, I think it's yeah, three, three, two over a second off the pace from your pole sitter. They will not be competing in the race. Here is the explanation from Cars Tour announcers uh, Eric Brennan and Blake McCandless. Let's take a listen here. Nasty not being in the show, we had four cars fail to qualify, including that of Cody Dempster, the number 28 of Jonathan Finley, the 37 of Landon Huffman because of a couple of other cars that had owner's points to be able to get in. Huffman is not going to make the show. Neither is that, as you mentioned, of Steven Nassie. What a shocker to start this season. Again. So there you have it. They're claiming that they don't have enough ownership points. So we're looking at Isles and Jacob Hefner were able to jump both, or Isles at least was able to jump Nassi uh, and uh, Hefner able to jump both Finley and Dempster to get into the race. It looks like they're only going to be taking 30 cars as only 34 cars did qualify. I'm looking at the car store rule book and I don't actually see a cap on the number of vehicles that they allow to race. Uh, looking at their section here on qualifying procedures, it just says here, bullet point number six, the starting field for each each event will be determined via the entry form. I'm not seeing anywhere where there is a cap of only 30 cars are allowed to compete in each race. Uh, so it's unclear w when they made that decision. Maybe they made that decision earlier in the week. I didn't see any kind of announcement on that. Maybe they, obviously they probably informed the drivers of this decision, but uh, obviously huge, huge impact for Steven Nassie and Landon Huffman who were trying to compete for the championship this year. Uh, Cody Dempster was going to run a full-time Cars Tour as well. Uh, and I think Finley might have been racing full-time as well. He's been racing in the Cars Tour for the past couple of years. So some veteran, veteran drivers, some of the top talent, some of the best drivers in the country uh, in late model stocks in uh, as with Steven Nassi and super late models, not able to make the field for this season opening race for the Cars Tour at Southern National Motorsports Park. It'll be interesting to see if they will stick with that ruling if they or they will indeed allow uh, some of these guys to race. I don't really see the difference between 30 cars and 34 cars. Uh, if I'm the Cars Tour, I'm, I'm probably going to let the, let all of these guys race. Uh, I just don't see why you couldn't have 34 cars in the track uh, and you're limiting it to 30. And I don't really see any kind of specific ruling on that. Again, looking at the Cars Tour rules here, it just says the starting field for each event will be determined via the entry form. But let me know what you guys make of Stephen Nassi, Landon Huffman, Cody Dempster, and Jonathan Finley not making the field for today's race. Let me know in the comments below.